Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another video that is slightly left of center for my channel but today to be fair I needed another laugh. Like I said in my other videos I'm into my seventh or eighth week of lockdown now and I just need to laugh. Like I think it's it's really hard to find inspiration at the moment to to do certain things and obviously it's very hard for me to actually go out and photograph so um, I don't really have a lot of content in my backlog that I can actually contribute to YouTube as well. So I figured I'd do a few of these videos in the meantime and have a little laugh in the process. So today I'm going to be doing a video on some of the best photography memes out there and and just to let you guys know beforehand most of these memes where I'm actually finding them is through Reddit. There's actually a subreddit called photography memes I believe and then I'm also going to photographer humor on Instagram so if you guys haven't actually followed that account and you really want a daily laugh I highly recommend going and following them now because they actually have some of the best memes for photographers so I really recommend that. But today I'm going to be doing a bit more of a reaction video to some of these and hopefully you guys can relate. So this is the first meme of the day and it is when the model annoys me asking if the pictures are done and <laughs> if I'm being completely honest I feel this one in my soul. It's mainly for me when the models ask about three days after the photo shoot and they're asking me whether they're finished and that that for me that's when I feel like disappearing at that point. <laughs> This is another one that actually hurts. Like I'd laugh more, but <laughs> when you spend hours editing a photo and now it looks worse than before. I mean, to be real, this is just me with every photo shoot. I feel like every photo shoot in the last 15 years leading up to this has just been like, okay, I'm gonna go do, do a really natural effect with this photo shoot. I'm gonna do really natural retouching. And then you just like spend hours and hours and hours on it. And then you just, oh my God. So Adobe has developed software that can detect Photoshop in an image. Adobe. It seems like a really strange thing for Adobe to do. When you buy a DSLR and take photos of flowers. I won't lie, this was probably me when I was about like 14, 15, whenever I got my first SLR. This was definitely me. I literally can't look at this meme without thinking of the stonks meme. Wow, such a, such a great meme. What gives people feelings of power, money, status, <laughs> battery grip. I always used to get really intimidated by this when I was younger. I don't know why, it's just a battery grip, but when I was younger and I used to see photographers walking around with these these huge freaking battery grips on their cameras, it just, it's like it makes your camera look even bigger and more intimidating. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> Light pollution, me dreaming about taking pictures of galaxies and nebulas. The amount of times I've been in this situation, oh my God. I remember there was this one time when I was photographing in Iceland with my fiance and we were sitting in the car. I think it was near a, a lighthouse and there was like just so many people coming in with their car headlights on high beam and parking. And like we were just trying to get photos of the Northern Lights at the time because it was kind of a dark area and it was just like impossible. That's just like one instance that I can think of right now. But this is just, yeah, this one hurts as well when you send your edits to the model and they start asking for the rest of the photos. <laughs> oh God, if I had a dollar, if I had a dollar for every time this has happened to me. I don't know about you guys, but this would be right up there with the things that I get asked most. How much is Canon R5? Where does that get I mean, at this point, I'm well past kidneys. <laughs> Let's be real, this is just how I see photography in general these days. And I mean, a Canon R5 is one thing, but have you seen how much a pro photo lighting kit is? Like, complete for a studio? That, yeah, that pricing, I mean, at that rate, you're just gonna have to sell all your organs. Do you know how to make affordable lenses? No, you're hired. <laughs> so do you. I mean, like, I, I keep saying, I feel like this is just every brand these days. Me coming back home after a session with no decent photo. Oh. <laughs> uh. This happens more regularly than probably what you might think. I feel like there's a lot of people out there, you guys will relate to this. <laughs> Uses professional photo to get a lot of likes. Doesn't give credit to the photographer. Oh, this is another one. I mean, it just happens all too often. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Cream meets all my RAM, Adobe Lightroom. Oh my God. I get angry just looking at this because I just know the feeling so much. Oh. Sending photos I've taken like... <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie, some sessions, it definitely feels that way. 
so many fake smiles. You never know what someone is going through. This memory card cannot be used yet. <laughs> This, this is like a moment of pure dread, like dread on a photo shoot. And it is, it's happened to me. It has happened to me more than once. Oh God, I hope I'm not the only one with this one. Having a big ego and thinking I can handhold a shot at 125th. <laughs> ah, the amount of times, the amount of times I've done this. And like the worst thing is sometimes it looks okay on your camera screen because it's like this big. And even when you're zooming in, you're like, yeah, that's, that's good, it's sharp enough. And then you get at home, you look on the computer and you're just like, what was I thinking? The practical side of my brain, I've taken 584 photos of this place, I'm done. The photography side of my brain. <laughs> oh, some of these are just like too relatable. We'd love to have you join our project. That sounds great, here's my rate. I mean, this kind of ghosting happens all the time all the time. It's a painful life for photographers. Edits on my computer and loves the colors. My monitor with a wrong calibration. <laughs> yes. You photographers, when do I start making money? Oh man, for anyone out there that's been doing photography for like 10 plus years, you will absolutely know the feeling of this. Even if you haven't been doing it for 10 years, let's be real. Like if you have a business in photography, you'll just know the pain of seeing this meme. A good photograph, yeah, but I don't like my face. Oh, so many instances, so many instances of having this happen and oh God, no more comments on that one. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see me do more videos like this one, please let me know in the comments section below. I really do enjoy doing these and I feel like it's something different apart from what I already do, which is tutorials mainly and uh, behind the scenes content. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you've seen any other really good photography memes because I always get a really good laugh out of them and I think at this time the world really needs to have a good laugh. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do because I'll be posting much more content in future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.